If a pipeline has pronounced high points, undissolved gases can become trapped at these high points, which increases the flow resistance of the pipeline as a whole. This results in energy losses and reduced flow rates. In this model test, we will examine and demonstrate the effects of air pockets in pipelines and the various options for eliminating air from pipelines at various flow velocities. The model setup consists of a pipeline with pronounced high and low points. It is supplied with water from a pump installed in a water tank. At the end of the pipeline, the water is discharged back into the same tank. The flow rate, and therefore the flow velocity, are controlled by means of a gate valve on the inlet side and discharge side of the tank. The head is indicated by the water column in the riser pipe. The flow rate is indicated on a display. Now, let's start the first part of the test. The discharge side gate valve at the tank is opened fully. We will start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the pressure side. A low flow rate results in a low water column in the riser pipe. The pipes with rising slopes to the high points are now full of water. The pipes with a downward slope to the low points are filling up gradually. The water level rises right up to the high points in the pipeline. However, the remaining air is not eliminated. This is known as a gravity pipeline system, as only the first part of the pipeline acts as a pressure line. In the remaining part of the pipeline, static pressure due to gravity causes the water to pass through the pipe. We will continue to increase the flow velocity. The pipe sections with a downward slope to the low points continue to fill up. The higher the flow velocity, the higher the losses in the pipeline, and the higher the water column in the riser pipe. The air is now increasingly transported away from the high points. The remaining air quantities increase the flow resistance and reduce the flow rate. The water column continues to rise. We will increase the flow velocity further. The pipeline acts as a pressure line which contains pockets of air. Large bubbles of air are still trapped at the high points. Increasing the flow velocity will lead to automatic de-aeration of the pipeline. Air trapped at the high points has now been expelled. On the left-hand side, a large air bubble at the high point reduces the pipe diameter. On the right-hand side, only a small amount of residual air remains at the high point. We will increase the flow velocity further. The air is now increasingly transported away from the high point. On the left-hand side, a large air bubble at the high point continues to reduce the available pipe cross-section. The water column is still rising. The current flow velocity is already as high as 0.65 meters per second. Under these conditions, the air bubble at the high point on the left-hand side will not be transported away. This residual air must be expelled manually in order to reduce the flow resistance within the pipe. Let's move on to the second part of the test. We will shut the discharge side gate valve to the tank to approximately 30% closed. This increases the pipe losses. We will now start up the pump and slowly open the gate valve on the pressure side. A low flow rate results in a low water column in the riser pipe. The pipes with a rising slope to the high points are now full of water. The pipes with a downward slope to the low points are filling up gradually. The water level rises right up to the high points in the pipeline. However, the remaining air is not eliminated. We will continue to increase the flow velocity. The pipe sections with a downward slope to the low points continue to fill up. As the flow rate increases, the water column rises. The flow rate equals 0.5 meters per second. The pipes are now largely filled with liquid. Only the high points still contain relatively large bubbles of air. We will increase the flow velocity further. The air is now starting to be transported away from the high points. On the left-hand side, a large air bubble at the high point still reduces the pipe diameter. On the right-hand side, only a small amount of residual air remains at the high point. 
the air is now increasingly transported away from the high point. However, the remaining quantities of air increase the flow resistance and reduce the flow rate. The water column is still rising. The air bubbles are now completely expelled from the high point. The current flow rate equals 0.79 meters per second. The pipeline is free from air pockets. Conclusion. In pipelines with pronounced high points, undissolved air can become trapped at these high points due to a difference in density. These air pockets increase the flow resistance of the pipeline as a whole. This in turn leads to additional energy losses and reduced flow rate. Targeted action can be taken in these critical pipe sections by means of air release valves with automatic or manual actuation. Under certain circumstances, air pockets can be transported away by increasing the flow velocity. This test shows that expelling air pockets reduces the flow resistance. This can be done by venting the high points or by increasing the flow velocity.